This year, hundreds of thousands of kids are participating in the world's largest youth-led science experiment. Their challenge is to use STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to solve a fictional global crisis. Joining us from the 4-H National Youth Science Day event in Washington, D.C. are Senior Vice President of Marketing and Brand at 4-H Council, Artis Stevens, and 4-H member Claire. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. This is this is incredible. You got a, a, a fictional global crisis. Artists, tell us uh, what is the largest youth-led science experiment all about? Absolutely. Well, National 4-H uh, Youth Science Day is, is really about the idea of getting young people more engaged and excited about uh, science and technology and the skills in the careers uh, that are related to STEM. Uh, you know, all across the country, we are going to have young people, hundreds of thousands of young people uh, participating, some even globally uh, as well in, in these science projects and these similar science projects that make science and, and science learning fun, engaging, and very hands-on. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this uh, 4-H National Youth Day. I mean, you've got thousands of students that will be participating in this? Yeah, thousands of, thousands of young people. We have 750 events uh, all across the country. Wow. Uh, we have more than 100,000 young people participating. And our theme this year is called Rockets to the Rescue. And we have, I'm um, happy to be here with one of our experts, Claire, uh, who's incredible at this uh, initiative and event and who can tell you even more about it. Claire, as a matter of fact, Claire, tell us uh, how you got interested in 4-H or the science of 4-H. Uh, and you've got, you're becoming a uh, rocket scientist, so to speak. Yes, well, I initially got involved in science uh, because I had a passion for it, but I really became involved after my diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder that affects the production of collagen, like that found in your elbow or your knee. And so when I was diagnosed, I felt that I could really help others with the syndrome and through science, I could impact their lives positively and make developments that could change the world. Well, that's, that's some uh, great information, and uh, I, I'm assuming that you're still in high school. Uh, once you graduate from college, I'll vote for whatever uh, political office you go into. You're a smart gal, I tell you. Uh, Artis, what are some of the major objectives uh, in the events like this? Yeah, well, you know, it's really clearly about uh, exposing kids to, to more STEM related fields. We know very clearly that it's an incredible opportunity because young people um, have waning interest actually in, in science. 16% of American high school seniors are, are interested in uh, STEM related careers, but we know how important it is for our nation's future and our global competitiveness. So, you know, a few key things. One, uh, clearly our objective is get them involved young and early in an early age. Um, folks like Claire, uh, who become great learners and lifelong learners. Two, role models and people seeing people that are connected particularly for girls and minorities needing to see people like them in these fields as well and then three clearly around the idea of having fun and right right there in, in, in South Carolina uh, through the South Carolina Cooperative Extension Service you have 34,000 young people uh, who are involved in STEM related uh, in programs and fields through 4-H uh, so we're really excited about that and we're really excited about more that we can do in this area. Artists we got about uh, five seconds left how can we get a little bit more information on this? Well, you can visit 4-H.org uh, to learn more and get as much information and find an event closest to you as well. Very good. Artist Claire, thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining with us today from Washington, D.C. Have a great day. Thank you so right, much. Thank you. And we've got more after the break, so don't you go away.